Hello everyone, today I will be showing you guys the games that I've bought during the last month and some of them before that but I haven't played them yet and they were like stored only now I have the opportunity to, to grab them to show you guys and let me know in the comments what games are you more excited for me to play what should I play next after Final Fantasy everything I think I can start yeah but it's like six games for the price of four on a promotion of a local store that was great and I grabbed a bunch of switch games like five switch games the first one is Metroid Red here it is I never played the Metroid game well I played the first one on the on the NES but I didn't finish it I only played like for a bit on the um, Switch Virtual Console. People say a lot of good things about this one, so I'm excited to play it. And if I like it, I will go back and play all the other ones. Next, in line with Nintendo, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I heard a lot of good things about this one. I think it's, uh, well, it's a Super Mario Bros. game. It's like 2D, uh, as it has multiplayer. My girlfriend is also a huge Mario fan, so I want to play it with her. And I grabbed Pokemon Scarlet. Well, this one I skipped on it when it first released because the reviews are, were really bad. I don't think the game is good from what I heard. But I played all the other ones. I'm a Pokemon fan. I played all the Pokemon games until now, except this one. Since it was cheaper and uh, normally Pokemon games don't go down in price, I grabbed this one and maybe I'll play it sometime. And another Nintendo franchise, well, this one I have no experience with, Pikmin 4. The reviews were really great as well. The first part, all the first party Nintendo games are are good, right? I think so. Yeah, I don't know about Pikmin, I never played it. I always felt that I wouldn't like this kind of game, but, well, I wanted to try this franchise, and they say it's good, so I grabbed it as well. Hope it's fun. I think it's like a strategy, like platforming game, something like that. The last but not the least for the Switch, I have more games. I bought Unicorn Overlord. This is a JRPG, a tactical JRPG. The reviews are incredible. They say the game is really great. The gameplay is really good. The story, I don't think it's that great, but if the gameplay is good, I'm all for it. I usually don't play tactical uh, JRPGs. I never got into them. Well, I played a, a bit of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I liked it, but I never finished it. So maybe I will get inspired and go back and play uh, like Tactics Ogre and stuff like that. And now for PS5, I grabbed two games. Persona 3 Reload. I never played the original, so I think the, the remaster is a great way to experience it. I played Persona 4 Golden on Vita, like a long time ago, like 10 years ago or so. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but I never played the Persona game again. I haven't played 5, I have it, uh, but I, well, I can't play everything, right? My backlog is huge, backlog is huge and it's getting bigger every time I buy games. But one day, one day I'll go through it. This one I didn't buy last month, I actually bought it on release, I pre-ordered it, Final Fantasy 16, Deluxe Edition. I'm a huge Final Fantasy nerd, I played almost every game, but I still haven't played Final Fantasy 16. I didn't have the time when it launched, the DLC is coming up, like next week or something like that, on the 18th, and I want to play it before the DLC launches, so I'll be playing this game on stream maybe starting tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. It, I think it's really different from the usual Final Fantasy games. It's more like a Devil May Cry style of game, action uh, style, uh, but I think I will like it. I will do an unboxing as well because the deluxe edition uh, has a map and the steel bookcase, and I think that's it. But yeah, the map looks really cool. I think I, I will frame it and add it to my wall. These were the games, but I also bought a bunch of Final Fantasy VII stuff. I'm getting deep into the Final Fantasy lore, Final Fantasy VII lore, and I grabbed the movie. 
Final Fantasy VII Advent Children 4K Ultra HD. This is the complete version. They say it's better than the original. I saw the original when it came out, like, I don't know, 20 years ago. I liked it at the time, but I, I don't remember anything. I think uh, I just remember the fights were cool. The story was kind of meh, but they say that the complete edition is better on, in that regard. So I'm excited to, to watch this and make a review. And they also got some books. So I got the On the Way to a Smile, Final Fantasy VII, a book by Nojima. This one is a collection of short stories that happened between the original game and Advent Children, if I'm correct. Uh, one of them, I think it's the... One of them, yeah, it's Episode Denzel, was actually made into an OVA, a short film, that is also included in the complete Advent Children Blu-ray. Yes, Episode Denzel. I'm looking forward to, to read all these short stories. I will go through the Final Fantasy VII collection by the release dates chronologically after i beat crazy score i will watch the children and then i read this book i think it's a good way to go i also got the other book the kids are all right a dark side story also by nojima and this one this one i think it also happens between final fantasy 7 and advent children and they are stories of the turks and we have Kyrie, that's a character on Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth that some people don't like at all because she's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't have a problem with her. I, th I think she's kind of funny in Rebirth. The Traces of Two Pasts. This is also a collection of short stories. Well, it says it's a no novel, but it has multiple episodes and it mostly talks about the story between or before Final Fantasy VII from the perspective of Tifa and Aerith you have episode Tifa yeah and there's Aerith version Aerith part and I think there are some more stories from other point of view there's also the episode Coda this was a short story that was published on I think it was the Ultimania for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and now it's here as well. And this is it. Five Switch games. Metroid Red, Super Mario Bros, Pokemon Scarlet, Pikmin 4, Unicorn Overlord, Persona 3 Reload, Final Fantasy 16, Advent Children, then On Our Way to Smile, The Kids Are All Right, and The Tale of Two... Not The Tale, and Traces of Two Pasts, Final Fantasy VII. And they also got this one, a mystery package. Well, I bought this a long, long time ago from PlayAsia. So I imagine that it's a Japanese game, <laughs> uh, but I don't remember actually what it is. I ordered it and it was like right next to me. I never opened it. So I don't know what this is. So I'm going to open it now. Hopefully I'll be surprised. Let's see. Let's see if I can open this. I don't have a knife. It's scissors here. Yeah. This is a Japanese import. I think it might be an Asia version of a, some game that wasn't released here, I don't know. I don't even know if it's a game, to be honest. I'm opening this with nail scissors from my son. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh! It's, it's not one game. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, are you guys ready? Actually, they are two or three games? They are two games. Yeah. First one, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'm not sure if this was released in the West as a physical version. Maybe at the time it wasn't, so I bought it. I think it's Southeast Asia version, but it is fully in English. And it has the first Final Fantasy games. I haven't played the Pixel Remasters yet. But I played most of them. The, the first two I played the GBA versions. The third one I played the DS version. The fourth one, I played the DS as well. Five, I never played five. I need to play it. And six, I played the SNES version. But I never finished six. So that's another one that I'm... It's on my bucket list. I have a lot of games to play, man. And the other game, Chrono Cross. Radical Dreamers Edition. This is the remaster of the Chrono Cross game. This is a sequel to the Chrono Trigger, one of my favorite games of all time. 
Actually, I played Chrono Cross in the past, like, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago on, uh, on PS1. I never finished it. At the time, I was not really into it uh, because I was expecting a Chrono Trigger-like game and it's nothing like that. It's completely different. The gameplay, it's different. Like, the art style is really different. Everything is different on this one. But maybe now I'll appreciate it more. I don't know. Another one on my... Now I remember our thing this, but I never opened them. I get a thumbnail like this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so and liking the video. It really helps me a lot. 